I get it is Monday morning about 7.30, I think. Woke up a little bit earlier than planned, but it was so nice out. It is just cool enough to not have to wear a jacket and be out in shorts and short sleeves. So it's going to be a really nice day. We are on North Star Road, National Forest Road 150 in Gila. Gila, like I said, I don't know how to pronounce that. National Forest, this is an old wagon train road for mostly the military, or part of it was. So, I don't know if you can see with the sun or not, we are on this little pullout and we're right there with a great view of the mountains behind us. So, a great spot to find in the middle of the night and kind of got lucky with that. We stopped at a couple of other places that were not really all that nice at all. So, we haven't even heard a car yet. So, it should be a quiet ride today. Not sure how long we're going to follow this. I haven't talked to him yet. But we're going to finish making coffee, getting breakfast, packing up and heading out of here. So on this section of the route, I think it's about 150 to 200 miles of forest roads and it did say that high clearance was needed in some areas. We'll see how that goes, but I think a lot of it's going to be what I'm experiencing now and that's just basically packed forestry roads, which is kind of nice. We're at the top of this mountain range in a way and it is really nice out with the window down. Cloudy sky, but you can still see blue, and it is just a really pretty day to be out here just putzing around. So we're going to just see how far we get. Uh, the road will kind of dictate that for us, but we're not in any hurry to get anywhere by any time tonight. So whenever we feel like stopping, we'll stop. So that's going to be the plan. So quite a few miles into this trail and it hasn't required hard clearance and I'm fine with that. I haven't even put it in 4x4 yet. The only thing I've done is drop it down into third gear and 12 just on the descent so I don't have to use up my brakes. It's not 12 Joel, it's 1-2. And I have not stopped smiling since I've been on this trail. It is exactly what I was looking for and what I enjoy doing for a first day. Nothing really technically hard, but really beautiful scenery out up over the road banks. And we dropped down quite a few hundred feet and now we're going back up. There are switchbacks galore. It is a beautiful day to be out here driving. We haven't passed another vehicle yet. And just taking our time, but I don't think uh, the trip is going to get much better than this just because this is the first day of our trip. We've got the entire trip ahead of us yet. Both of our vehicles are working without issue, no funky noises, nothing that we have to be concerned about, no popping, nothing like that. So right now it is perfect and it is a great spot to be in. So I'm going to enjoy it while I can. Even if things go wrong, that's just the way things happen sometimes. But right now is the sweet spot of this entire trip, in my opinion. And I am really enjoying it. So we just dropped about 800 feet coming from that direction. And I'm looking on the map, and you can see all the switchbacks that go across the way there. And... Looking on the map, there is a lot of this for quite a while. It is really cool.
right, it's the night of July 27th on Monday, and we are set up in Apache National Forest. So we got here about 6 o'clock, plenty of daylight left, so I went ahead and put my half-hatch tent up, and we've had rain sporadic all day, so that's why I put it up. And I'm not sure I'd like to keep it up and leave the hatch open, but I think there's too many mosquitoes to do that. But it's something that I really, really want to do. Maybe one day. So we just added fuel to the gas tanks since it is a 250 mile stretch on this one and there's no gas along the way unless you take a detour that's I think at least 20 to 40 miles and we don't want to do that so we went ahead and added gas to our tanks. I've still got an extra five in the back there that I won't need to touch. I'll make the distance no problem. So we've got a fire set up to keep the mosquitoes away. We've got plenty of wood to use and stuff that's been laying around. So we'll keep that going until we go to bed. Tonight is an MRE night. Kind of looking forward to that. Plus it'll clear out a little bit of space. We are going to settle in. He is getting dinner ready. And tomorrow we are going to finish the last 100 miles of this section. And see where we're going to go from there. We're not sure if we're going to be able to see a town. And maybe pick up some supplies there if we need them. Or if we'll just keep pushing through. We're both... Pretty much in a position where we don't need to resupply for at least the next few days. But, uh, hope you enjoyed the footage from today. It was a lot of fun. It was beautiful. We had some great weather, some rainy weather, but uh, it was just, it was amazing. It was a great first day. So I just decided that I'm going to sleep with my hatch open. I brought these mosquito nets and one of them is big enough to completely cover the whole back hatch. And so I've got these little magnets that just in certain areas I will attach them. But I am definitely going to sleep with the hatch open tonight. I think it's going to be pretty cool.